Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I'm also gonna be including a quick, small, teeny, tiny Walmart haul. So for those friends freaks out there, you wanna keep on watching. Also, I'm gonna be including a lot of info here at the very end. I'm also gonna be including a quick, easy a DIY as well. So this is gonna be another combo video. So let me dive in and let me show you what I purchased. Um. Yeah, so they have these really cool magnets by Ja, ja you rock. There's six different sets. You get four per pack, and these were over by the stickers and stationery. So the first one we have is like the little Norwal, the seal, and all the little sea critters. We have some smiley face and some food, and some more food, and a kitty cat one a unicorn, and love. So really like those. They have a new a vase out, perfect for Valentine's or for that everyday decor that you want around your house. Look at this, it looks like crystal, like or like frozen ice, frozen ice. What else, I don't know how else ice would be. Well, I guess there's dry ice, but this is bumpy. And the height of that is eight inches tall. Ah, oh, I just absolutely love it. Let me turn it this way and make something out of it. What do you think? What could that be? What can you be? I don't know, a bumpy potato? I don't know. Do you like my little flower arrangement from the Dollar Tree? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, moving on. They have these over by the toy aisle. These are ages 12 and up, two to two to more players. This is the 90s trivia challenge. Six trivia categories. This looks like so much fun. How well do you remember the 90s? How well do you remember the 90s? I graduated in the 90s. And like I said, this is over by the toy department. Um, there's three different ones, so I'll open that one here in just a second. There's this one, either this or that. And there's some funky people on the front. And then you have Movie Madness Trivia Game. 52 questions. This has 52 questions, and this one has 52 questions. How many questions? 52. And there is the movie one. So let me go ahead and open the uh, 90s. Oh, they have it in wrap. Um, so this is what the cards look like. And it says, place the cards face down on the table and a blank piece of paper, write each of the player's initials down one side. I don't need to read the direction. And for those people that have told me to put scissors in my drawer, I have. I have put at least six pair in this drawer and two pair in this drawer, and my kids sniff them out, and they are gone. Mm, why? So I do put them in there. I should have brought some with me, though. But my next video, I will. I promise. I promise. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, check out one of these questions with answers. Which artist had the most number one-hit songs during the 90s? Was it Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, or Madonna? Do, 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 do. The answer is A, Mariah Carey. So this looks like a fun, fun game. And for only a dollar, and these are a good size. Yes, I'm gonna become a measuring freak. This is four inches. So the cards are four inches tall. So they are a pretty good size card. So yeah, I really I enjoy playing that. Wish they had one with the 80s because I love the 80s. So, the Dollar Tree has some plant hangers. Uh, they are 30 inches. They have three different colors. They have like this mustard goldish kind of color. And they also have it in green and black. So, I'm sure people can figure out other things to do with these. Dissect them. Untie them. Then you have your self rope. So if you like to do like boho, is that what it's called? Decor, I'm sure you can figure something out with this and make something else out of it. Heck, you might even make a, what are those called? 
I can't remember what they, you lay in them. What is that called? Not a sling? Kayak. No, that's a boat. Hammock. There we go. I need to make my own card game. But yes, I know, or make, I don't know, a fishnet or something. I don't know, but I'm sure there's other things you can do. I didn't really care for the green. It was a little too green for me, although green is my favorite color. But these are really, really cool. Okay, sticking with the lawn and garden, how about some planter trolleys? Now, I think they might have had these last year and I just overlooked them. I don't know, but they have three different colors. They have a dark brown, they have taupe, and they have green. The color of the rope was about this color green. These things have wheels. Now, if I was small enough, I would sit in here and push myself down the driveway. That's what I would do with these. But look, look. That is so cool. I really, really like those. If I had a little animal, like when I used to have guinea pigs or rats or hamsters, all kinds of bunnies, ferret, sugar glider, prairie dog. Oh my gosh, we had so many animals. You could suck the little booger in there and take it for a walk. Drill a little hole, put a rope on it, and go, hmm, hey, you can use this rope. Hook it on there and use it as a little trolley or something. But I thought this would be really cool to put out on my deck, my lower deck. I have two decks out front, back, back, and a porch. But yeah, I think these are really, really cool. How big are you? Let's see. You are, hmm. Let's see here. We are 11 inches. So it's 11 by 11, whatever. I don't know. 11 inches. So it's a good size. Moving on. Um, they have some new blind bags. These are Jurassic World, ages three and up. Mini Action Dino. And I believe there's like 12 different ones to collect. Um, I will list that video down below that come with me to the Dollar Tree, which I should have told you at the very beginning. But if you want to keep up to date on what is hitting the shelves at the Dollar Tree or that's already there or might be coming, be sure you always watch the come with me to the Dollar Trees throughout the week because I go to multiple, 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 multiple Dollar Trees to show you. So I am going to see what little critter we have in here. So this is the dino. And why does the butt look like it wiggles? I guess it does wiggle a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. So yeah, don't know what kind of dinosaur that is. But if my daughter Sam was here, she probably would because when she was a little girl, she called dinosaurs rah-rahs. She loved dinosaurs in Hot Wheel cars. Yes, my little girl loved it. Nothing wrong with it. And I'm like, I think you're supposed to be my boy. And she's my second oldest, which she's 21. On the 12th. Yeah, January 12th. Oh, I can't believe it. I have two kids in the 20s. But here is the checklist. So I guess we could, could try to find the little critter. I don't know what you are, but you are weird looking. Looks like one of those lizards. Okay, moving on. So yeah, start stocking up for those for Christmas, birthday parties, birthdays, Easter basket, or just for the fun of it. Um, how about Miss Spa Deep Wrinkle Turns Crinkles into Twinkles? Hmm. Interesting. Caviar, abstract, and sodium. Hmm. This is what they look like. They look like parentheses. I'll show you what it looks like. So, why aren't we without reading the directions? Because heaven forbid if we do that. Let's just open the little thing and... One time I really should have brought, let me go get scissors. Okay. Rip this sucker open. There's got to be an easier way to open this. I mean, they have this sealed so good. Smell it, of course. You're a freak. Oh, it's really slimy. Ew. I don't want to put that on my face. But... I guess you can look like a football player or a baseball player. I don't know. Let me know if you guys tried this out. Oh my gosh, you gotta leave that on your face for 45 minutes? Ugh. Wow, that really slimy. Let me know if you guys tried this out and if it made your wrinkles into twinkles. That's interesting. 
And the last two items, which I don't know why I thought these were new and a lot of you said they're just repeats, which I should have known that, but once you go to the Dollar Tree so many times, you start seeing so much stuff and they change the packaging and you think it's new, but really it's not, or they change a color or d pattern or something. Ugh. But anyway, I picked up these two bathroom rugs by Home Collection. They're 15 inch by 21 inch. There's that one. Oh my gosh, they smell. Ew, why do you smell like dirty feet? And then there's this one. And these are the two items I am going to be using to make a very easy DIY here at the very end. So be sure you keep watching and I'll show you what I do with those and why do they smell so bad. I need a hand sanitizer. But that is everything I bought at the Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So let me show you what I picked up at Walmart. So I went to three different Walmarts because I was looking for a certain size and finally I found them. But in the meantime, walking into the store, they had a huge bin and carts full, full of scotch tape. Three rolls of scotch tape. 50% more scotch tape. For how much? One dollar. Yes, one dollar, and they rung up three ninety six. So I had to have the cashier come over and fix it because I did the you scan or whatever you do it yourself. So the one Walmart, sorry, Boo Bear, she's laying by my side. Ruby has not been doing so well, which I'll do that some other time because I don't want to cry. Um, so I picked up four of these at one Walmart, and they had. I, I don't want to say a thousand, but I'm pretty close to a thousand. And then another Walmart had the green scotch tape for a dollar. And once again, they were ringing up three ninety six. So be sure you keep make sure that they ring up for one dollar because they have a ton of it. So I bought five of the green and four of the purple because top top tape disappears in this house as well. So the items I picked up, now they had some other, is this my receipt? Yes it is. Um, they have different colors, different designs, and this and that. Um, but these are the ones that I picked up. They are so soft. Oh my gosh. So yes, for those a friend freaks out there, um, Walmart has really cute friend PJs. This is what the tag looks like. And then there is the back and the pants are $13.76. Now I bought a medium because I like my stuff kind of loose. I probably could have went to a large, but then I would have to tighten it up and I don't want to have to do that. Not too crazy about the ruffle on the top, but anyway, look how cute these are. And they're so soft. What are you made out of? Because you are so soft. And I didn't know because they have it to the point where you have to read a dictionary to figure out what it's made out of. 95% polyester, a 5% spandex. So a size medium is a size 8, 10. The other bottoms they had, I'm not a pink person, but you know how to get them. So these are the two different PJ bottoms they have. So on here it says Joey doesn't share food, pivot, pivot, pivot. Um, a thing on here it says we were on a break or something yeah we were on a break so I got a medium in those as well the top I like my tops big I had a medium it fit pretty good but I went ahead and got a large took back the medium and got a large a large is a 12 14 so here is the pink one they also had a couple of different t-shirts now they fit a little bit short um but it Otherwise, I mean, they fit so, oh my God, I love the material. Now, the sweatshirts are $14.76, and the other sweatshirt I picked up in a size large was this one. It says, we were on a break. So, yes. Um, I was hoping they had some shorty PJs, but I haven't been able to find those yet. Also, if you do not know, Aldi's is going to be carrying Friends Home Decor in that very, very soon, sometime this year, I think 
February that I read January February so they're gonna have like pillows and blankets and bedspreads and stuff like that of friends I think you can go to all these website and just type it in and see what comes up I think I can't remember how I found that out oh my daughter um Grace told me about that so yes that's something you can look for also Gordman's they have a ton of different friends um pictures and tin plates like and canvas art and oh my gosh I wish I had one room I could dedicate to all friends and like have a little studio but yes um so I just want to add a few things here at the very end uh I had it written down um I'll try to get to most of it um uh let's see here um I'll, I get this question so much when is Michael's doing their $4 grab backs? Now they have been changing it each year. I think they've noticed that more and more people are finding out about these bags. So they are holding on to the clearance as long as possible at 80% so they can get every penny they can. Um, but last year they did it at the very end of January. I think it was like January 28th or somewhere around there. Um, they did it in the middle of the day. They didn't do it in the morning or late at night, um, but they did trinkle some of the stuff out a couple of days after they put a bunch of them out. So just because if you don't get them the day they come out, keep checking back. They might put some more out there. So they should be hitting the shelves, the floor, I should say, here within the next two weeks. Um, different states are, might do it different times. I've noticed people post their videos way before my Michaels do their clearance. Now, I have two Michaels here in my town. I've already checked the one just to see what they have left, and it is not going to be worth my time going to because they have a handful of stuff, and it's just like pff, pointless. Now, the other one has a quite a bit left, but within a few days or a week, it could totally change. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to throw that in there because I get that question a lot. Um... Oh, I didn't bring that hand towel. Um, one of you asked about the hand towels that I hauled, uh, the kitchen ones. I think they were 5% polyester and 95% cotton, how they wash up. Um, before I washed them, it felt like the water was kind of beading off my hands when I was drying it. Just my hands didn't feel like they were getting dried. So I did wash the towels, did dry them. They feel a little bit better, but they're still, yeah. I think they're going to be more for decor. Like the ones that, um, you know what, let me go grab it. These right here. This is the towel that I'm talking about. Um, they are a little bit softer after I wash them and dry them, but it still it still feels like my hands don't get completely dry. So now I had bought um, a couple of other towels and they're 100% cotton. So we'll see how those hold up. Um, one other thing I'm going to go ahead and add in this video and then I'll wait for the other stuff in my other ones. Um, I thought this would be something fun and different. Um, it's going to be a guessing game. I guess you can call it a guessing game. Um, not a really a guessing game. I don't know how you want to categorize it. I don't know. But throughout the, the month of January, I thought um, in some of my videos, I will tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, like my favorites, my likes, my dislikes, um, a little bit about my family or stuff like that. I'll do a couple of questions like and answer them. Keep track of what I... Um, say the answer to i should say and at the end of the month in oh, probably on a sunday video or something like that because i always do a lot of hauls on sundays the first person to answer all of the questions correctly will win a 25 dollars gift card to the dollar tree so here i'm going to tell you three things about me um the first one is pretty obvious kind of who's my favorite actress Jennifer Aniston, who's my favorite actor, Vince Vaughn, and how tall am I? I'm 5'10". So there's three questions and three answers. So just keep track. I'm going to be doing this throughout the entire month of January. And then when it comes to the end, I'll ask a few questions and whoever answers those correctly first in the right order will win the $25 gift card. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. Be sure you click on to that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on what the Dollar Tree is carrying.
what they might be carrying, where the good deals are, what kind of bargains did I find, and if you like animals and like to laugh, smile, and all that good stuff, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I thank you all for stopping by and spending the time with me today, so I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. These are the two rugs I will be using. Be sure you cut off all the tags and wash these and dry them. Once you get them nice and clean, go ahead and lay them out on how you want them presented. So you can have the design facing out or in. I'm going to face them in because I want a plain, I guess, canvas. So I'm also going to be taking some twine, any kind of twine that you have. I'll be cutting about 12 strips. Taking another piece and tying a knot on one of the ends. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. Once you do that, just go ahead and find the middle and cut right there. Now you're gonna do this with four of them. Next, you're gonna lay them on each corner. Do whatever length you want. Now I started off with 12 inches and then cut those in half. So each of them are about six inches long. Once you get them in place, go ahead and take your glue gun Right on the knot, I am just adding a little bit of glue right there and placing it back. And this is what you're going to do all the way around. Just like that. Line it back up. Make sure you have your strings where you want them. Now you can separate them like that so it looks like that or keep them together. I decided to keep them together. Take your glue gun and start gluing around the edges, little by little. Press down, and you're going to do that almost all the way around. Now I did not put any glue on the twine. I just worked around it. Next, you're gonna leave a little bit of an opening. Now you can use any kind of stuffing you want. You can use tissue or even grocery bags or fluff, toilet paper, napkins, whatever. I am just stuffing some of the bags in there. And that's all I did. I did about 12 bags. And now it's time to glue. Finish gluing around. Press down, little bit more. And voila. Look how cute that is for Now, if you wanted to add some color to your boho pillow, go ahead. And I'm using some of these flowers from the Dollar Tree. You can place them however you want. You can put them in each corner, put them in the middle, just one, four, ten, whatever. Heck, you can even put them over there by the edges if you want. So this is how I ended up putting them. So one side I'll have orange flowers. Flip it over, and no color at all. 